<clears throat> Hello, Divine Masculine. How are you guys? <clears throat> oh, all is well. I am Phoenix Rising, and I am doing a love spread for you, Divine Masculine. What up, though? What's up? <laughs> How are you guys? Um, I hope all is well. This is a timeless read. Spirit wants you to know whenever you get it is when you're supposed to get it. Um, to give me for a personal read or to cash out me a donation is in the description box on my page, Divine Masculine. All right, so I did twin flame the other day. I might do it again later. I don't know what it is. Right now, we on the masculine. Okay, so you might be a masculine. Feminine, of course, you're welcome to watch. Hello. <laughs> and I know I watch the masculine too sometimes, all right? Divine Masculine. So I'm going to do um, two different decks. I'm going to do this, um, my Purple Witch deck for confirmation, for like two card confirmation. <clears throat> if you're new, you click like, subscribe. If you're a, a cross washer, welcome. If you're new, you can, you know, subscribe, all that, and then some shit, you know. <clears throat> Time to read. Told you how to book me. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Um, spirit guides of the highest white light. Mike Archangel, high power source. Angels of the Four Corners, my ancestors, and my own angels. Can you please give me messages for my divine masculine? For cross watchers and for the ones that are already subscribed, please give me messages for my divine masculine. Police. Police, please. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Push on. And I'm giving pull up. Push on and pull up. I'm hearing deception now. You got uh, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment. Fully. Divine masculine. I'm going to get two card confirmation. Soulmate. Uh -oh. Yes, this is your soulmate for some of you. You want to know if someone's your soulmate. <clears throat> Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Keep going. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, divine masculine. Bottom of the deck. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, with 226 on the fucking clock. I do swear. I don't know that's a problem. Just want to let you know. Let you know. Attraction. Mm. Somebody says, wake up and smell the fucking roses, divine masculine. That's what I just heard. Attraction. Why is attraction here? Six of wands. Yeah. You're not talking to a divine feminine, huh? Yeah, I feel like there's some disloyalty going on with the six of wands. I don't know if they've been disloyal or you've been disloyal. You know, take it as it resonates. Okay, flip flop it. Um, but you got the six of wands here with the eight of wands. This is no communication. The six of wands is failure, disloyalty. Okay, something happened real fast with fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy was 313 on the clock. That is twin flame numbers. You can look that up, see what that means. Disloyal, broken promises, ego, pride before the fucking fall. Blum, 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 blum. Failure. Ooh. Yeah, some type of... Ooh, cars is flying out. It's beat. And it's be at, okay? <laughs> Virgo towards Capricorn energy with the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? I feel like someone wants their money to improve and you're looking for positive changes, masculine. This is recovering from a loss and wanting forgiveness. Letting go of a relationship, okay? I feel like you're letting go of a karmic and you want your money to improve and you want forgiveness from the divine feminine. You also have the tempers in reverse. There was some type of imbalance due to um, some of you were uh, indulging in uh, other things that you shouldn't, okay? Or whether your feminine was taking how it resonates. The temptation card is here because that's Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> When it's in reverse, it's an imbalance, okay? Because it's water and earth. Her foot is on earth and then it's in the water. When it's in reverse, it means it's not balanced. Something's not balanced. There's some type of argument and dispute going on also with the masculine. There's an imbalance, self-indulgence, excessive clashing with someone. Someone that you're extremely attracted to that you beefing with, okay? And then I feel like you. this is two different situations. You're not talking to someone as well. Which I feel like it's the divine feminine. Or vice versa. So I'll be, I be shuffling so hard. I'll be 4444. Four, four, four. Someone wants to uh, be secure and with stability to create and connect. Okay? Yeah, the four of wands is no communication. You got the eight of wands and the four of wands. No communication. Four, five, six on the clock. Someone's not talking here. 
okay? You're not talking to someone that you're highly attracted to. Spirit said you're five, six on the clock. You're driving yourself crazy not talking to this person. You got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We're going to see what this card is about. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. This was you staying in a bad situation and faking like you was happy, clinging. Okay? Okay, acting like you was happy. You weren't happy about some shit. It was some conflict with five on the clock. Somebody's birthday could be on the fifth. Or the fifth month of the year. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is definitely um, in reverse. It's just like uh, low self-esteem too and moving on. Fear of commitment. Okay? Soulmate. I see why that's here. What's the divine masculine? Yeah. Soulmate. Divine masculine. With 555. Yeah, some conflict, crisis. I'm feeling a tower. Okay. Conflict, crisis, chaos, instabilities. You got the Queen of Wands. I mean, Queen of Swords here with the Three of Wands. I just said I seen the tower. It came out. Ha ha. Aha. Uh -huh. It had a tower. The love is in reverse. The hermit, you're you're quiet. The knight of swords is um, needing to apologize to somebody and some shit going left. The knight of swords is here. This is no movement with something, okay? A lot of bullshit. Something's out of control. Not a, a lot of mental conflict. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Now, with this soulmate, I feel like with the queen of swords, I feel like you're seeing things clearly with the three of wands in reverse. I feel like you're frustrated because something failed. You're disappointed in the choice you made. You thought this queen of wands was your your uh person okay because she was showing up very sharp she came out honest at first this queen of wands okay libra, libra gemini aquarius energy she was playing mind manipulation games okay she was trying to make sure, like she was fair she was going to be truthful and honest so you thought this was your soulmate so with 707 on the clock okay you were like now you're reflecting and assessing the situation like what the fuck was i thinking okay the tower came Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, energy, some shit fell apart, some type of divorce, some type of breakthrough, some type of fall, some type of major upheaval, sudden pain, okay? Destruction, some type of abuse too. This person could be abusive. The three of wands is um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy, like I said, self-doubt, but with bad choices. <clears throat> Two of swords is here with the lovers in reverse, okay? Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy, and Gemini, energy. Two of Swords is definitely um, lies exposed, arguments, fights, betrayal, <coughs> emotionally cold, resentment. <coughs> I feel like you want to talk, but, ooh, my throat. It's like a blockage. You want to talk, but you're scared to say something. You want to talk to somebody. The lovers is a lot of arguing with someone you thought was your soulmate, and they deceived you. The Hermit is now you want to be by yourself. It's quiet. You, you had time with 808 on the clock to assess the situation and really go back and think the Hermit is Virgo. You could have been dealing with Virgo that broke your heart. You could have been dealing with Virgo that deceived you. The Hermit is having to go into Virgo mode and basically, you know, assess the situation for what the fuck it is. The Hermit is definitely silence. Mm -hmm. Solitude. Spiritual enlightenment is what you seek. Okay, your soul searching. And now you're in separation. You want to separate from someone. You might, you already might be in separation from someone, or you want to separate. <clears throat> the nine, yeah, they was abusive. Okay, someone was definitely you was fighting with somebody. Okay, and ooh, that's good. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords, um, this is an abusive situation. For some of you, they're verbal, physically abusive. The Nine of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. This is fear, anxiety at a breaking point, nightmares. You over this shit. You're like, I'm done. I want to separate. The Five of Pentacles is here. Virgo Swords, Capricorn energy. This has felt like the world was against you. You feel like an outcast. You're having bad love. This is divorce, breakup, alienation. You could be homeless behind this. You could be like, I'm leaving this home. I don't want to be here. The High Priestess is who you seek. This is your divine feminine. Okay, this is high powered. This is someone mysterious you're thirsty for now. You're in separation from that person as well. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. The Knight of Pentacles is definitely wanting to um, move forward, but very slow. Okay, patient, defensive, and being stubborn about the situation. Judgment is here, and so it's the moon in reverse. Both of them. Judgment and the moon is in reverse. Um, the judgment in reverse is definitely um, Scorpio Cancer energy. 
And then the moon in reverse is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is definitely some deception going on that needs to be cleared up with judgment and the moon. Judgment is definitely indecisive. Bad gossip, karmic lesson being learned here. Self-doubt and some type of... um. Oh, something you were unwilling to learn. There was false accusations. And I feel like now you feel like you owe somebody an apology. And then I also feel like with the moon in reverse, um, this is some type of um, unveiling the secrets that you just found out. Okay. Some blocked intuition that you had. Someone did some black magic on you. This is self-deception and unreleasing fears in uh, separation. That is a meditation. Candle I'm burning is choking the hell out of me. But I feel like that's how this is procrastinating though. And not putting forth the effort to move forward. Okay. This is change of plans for the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like your plans change you. You wanted a new beginning with someone. Someone else. Someone new. Your divine feminine. Okay. For some of you, ground zero. Your food card. New beginning. Why is romantic feelings here for <clears throat> divine masculine, please? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that is, yes, that is your soulmate. It's your karmic soulmate. Spirit said with one, 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 one o'clock. They want you to know the soulmate that you thought was your soulmate is your karmic soulmate. The Page of Cups is in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. This is being emotionally immature or scared to say something. Someone could have been, been a whore. This is sexual uh, addictions. Okay, someone needs to express what they've been doing about. And this is someone that's had your emotions upside down, playing games. Okay, this is bad news. Okay, and this is someone that could have been playing two times. You're playing with your feelings with the Page of Cups in reverse. Very immature, playing little childish games, being a whole behind your back, masculine. Oh, yeah. And the Eight of Cups is here. It's kind of like sideways, too. So I'm going to take it sideways. Cause so it's sideways. I feel like this is leaving a bad situation, walking away from something. Okay. Reaching a breaking point. And you like, fuck this. I'm not dealing with this shit no way. I'm, I'm withdrawing. Okay. Because you felt like you were staying. You were stuck. Okay. You was faking like you was happy. That's why I just came out sideways. That's your true feelings. You was faking like you was happy. The Five of Wands is here in reverse. Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Now you want to compromise and you want to end conflict with somebody, okay? You're looking for peace. You're not looking for a fight anymore. Someone's looking for a fight with you, though, for romantic feelings. You're not, you're not looking for a fight. You want to resolve something with someone. What am I at? 12 minutes, okay? Yeah, because with the Queen of Swords, this is like sharply seeing through someone's lies, okay? Something could have been done with some money. There's procrastination here with the... Um, the King of Pentacles is being broke, though. Okay, clearly seeing that someone was sucking you dry with the Queen of Swords. Okay, seeing clarity, being honest about a situation. And like, okay, I can't do this no more. Yep. And you're seeing the Queen of Pentacles, which is your, which is your um, Divine Feminine. Virgo towards Capricorn. I feel like this person is nesting, harvesting, getting their money together. You know what I'm saying? Letting go of control. Is, is, is it safe for you to love and let it, let it go of control issues? Allowing the situation to unfold naturally, opening your heart to give and receive to the highest, highest level of all. Why is that here for the bad master? Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. The Page of Pentacles is definitely foolish, okay, frustrating, and someone being disloyal to you, unfaithful. I, I feel like someone, um, yeah, someone was immature and someone was unfaithful. Either you or someone you're dealing with. I feel like you try to control the issue, but it's out of control with the page of, page of cups. A page of pentacles in reverse. The eight of pentacles in reverse is definitely... Because um, when it's upright, it means it's committed. This person is not committed. Something was not. Someone was not committed to something. And maybe act like they were. Oh, yeah, the tower came. The tower's here. The tower's here, masculine. Something fell apart for you. Something is like an emotional upheaval. A breakup, a divorce. This is um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, and Scorpio energy. The towers here because something completely fell apart for you that you were dealing with. Okay? <clears throat> you thought it was safe for you to love, and it wasn't. You offered your two of cups. Okay? The Nine of Swords is someone deceiving you, lying. You offered your two You thought this was your ride or die, your best friend, your two of cups. You thought this was your twin. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay? But they Nine of Swords your ass. This is um, bully, rude. Okay? Uh, Know it all, okay? They had you involved in some criminal activity, or you had them involved in some. Ten of Wands is here. This is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. This is taken for granted. Someone had you stressed out. Your resistance changed. The Five of Cups is here, and the Two of the Five of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy in reverse. This is healing and forgiving and wanting to move forward with someone accepting defeat about something. And the Sun is here. So this is what you're seeing someone as. 
your divine feminine. This is the sun here. This is pregnancy. This is one of the new beginning, positive changes. Truth comes out, opens up. This is uh, when you see the sun. This is like um, revealing of the light. Like the truth comes out. You're ready to open up. Okay. Okay, divine master. This has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I am Phoenix Rising. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sending you love and light. Till next time, divine master. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to a personal read or cash out me. Donation is in the description box on my page. Thank you guys. Till next time. Bye.